So guys, the day is almost here. We are one night away from 1010 and that is going to be the night where everyone is going to experience the most anticipated and the most awesome event in the last decade. This event is going to be everything it has worked up to be. It's going to be the very first autonomous fully unsupervised self-driving version of a car that Tesla has to offer. This means no steering wheel, no accelerator, no brake pedal, nothing to touch except for the entertainment touchscreen as soon as you hop inside. This was the ultimate goal for Tesla and for Elon, this is something he's been waiting for ever since the introduction of the Model Y. Full self-driving has gone through many variations of codes over the years, originally dependent on human manual labeling, then consisting of hundreds of data annotators. The team labeled thousands of short clips, images coming from the camera, eventually leading its way back into the full self-driving system. Then after some time, they eventually moved on to machine learning, reducing the amount of time and cost while improving performance and accuracy. So while manual labeling is extremely good at things like semantics, computers are better at geometry, reconstruction, triangulation, and tracking. As full self-driving progressed over the years, they transitioned to Tesla Vision, converting 2D images into 3D vector space, removing all unnecessary noise from other sensors such as radar. This was an enormous leap up in terms of performance and confidence built within the company, enough for Elon to decide against a steering wheel for the Model Y as previously mentioned. Now although it sounded too good to be true and the software really needed some additional fine tuning, this was a really great step forward towards what we have today. So then of course the Model Y turned out not to be the car that drove autonomously and without a steering wheel as the software was just not ready. But throughout those years there has been tremendous amounts of improvements with the full self driving software, enough so that Elon and the entire team is now confident to move full self driving out of beta and rename it to full self-driving supervised. This was all thanks to the combination of neural net training and the recently 8x parameter count increase bringing self-awareness driving to another level with the version 12.5. 12.5 was the breaking point for full self-driving. It was at a level where you can go hundreds if not thousands of miles without an intervention. This eventually came with the removal of the steering wheel nag and fully relying on the vision based detection system. Then as additional point updates were pushed out, they released features such as actual smart summon and auto park, making it essentially point to point self driving. So now if you own a Tesla, live within the US or Canada and have purchased the full self driving software, you can have the car come up to your location, pick you up and drop you off at your destination without touching a single pedal. So then this now leads us up till today, specifically tomorrow night when Tesla will be unveiling the RoboTaxi, the very first autonomous full self-driving vehicle within their lineup. In the past couple of weeks, we have seen leaks of what this supposed cyber cab robo taxi will look like, though all covered up in bright yellow wraps and padded to hide its body lines. Then shortly after, we got our first early sighting of the preparation at the Warner Bros studio where the entire event will take place. This also gave us an idea of how the entire layout will look like with Tesla parked all around the streets mimicking what it would look like in real life. Then about a week after that we got to see a Cybertruck wrapped in rose gold carrying around what seems to be a robo taxi inside of a trailer. We broke it down into details with the exact measurements of the trailer and what the car dimensions will be on the inside. If you have missed out that video and you want to check it out, I'll drop a link in the description and a link up top there. Now then just over this weekend, days before the event takes place, we have all the the final little details and the latest sightings inside of the Warner Bros studio. First off, Tesla has been continuously sending out more invites. For those who have not received it in the first wave, you've probably received it by now in the third wave. But if you haven't seen anything in your inbox yet, there is nothing to worry about because this event is just going to be as mind blowing seeing it through a stream on YouTube and on Twitter. Around late last night, the company began sending out all the invite details to qualifying shareholders, giving them all the info and requirements to join this event. According to the agenda, there will be four time periods leading up to the announcement. All of this is going to be referencing to the Pacific Standard Time as it's taking place in California. At around 3 p.m., this is where the parking lots will begin opening, so there will be a huge lineup, and if you are not a fan of waiting, it's best that you arrive earlier. Then by 5 p.m., this is when the doors will officially open, and just like the parking situation,
position, it's best that you line up early, otherwise you'll be standing for a very long time. Now between this time and when you'll be inside, they will be checking for the golden ticket and they are very strict on who gets to come in and who doesn't. Each qualifying attendee will need to show their unique ticket as well as government ID with the exact same name for admission. On top of this, you will need to be over 21 years of age, go through screening, and bring no suspicious items or large backpacks. Now, for some additional precaution of what's taking place at the event, they are highly recommending to wear closed toe shoes. One would could probably guess that this has something to do with Optimus or giving test drives along the way. After all this has been done and now you are officially inside of the studio, I would guess that you can walk anywhere around freely to check out whatever you want, but make sure to arrive back at the stage at 7 p.m. This would be when they are prepared to make the official remarks. Now Tesla is being very low key about all this. There are no areas, no sections of the agenda that tells us we are going to be seeing the robo taxi or if we're going to be getting a test drive or any demo. But the excitement and the anticipation is definitely there, especially with what we've seen in all the previous leaks. There is a high likelihood that we will be seeing something revealed and we will be probably getting test drives and demos. Matter of fact, just about an hour ago, Elon tweeted out that this is going to be a product unveiling rather than just a live demo. So there is definitely something interesting coming out and we are probably going to be getting to pre-order it as soon as the event ends. So now in addition to this, we have also gotten some sightings within the studio in the last few days um, with more vehicles being lined up and preparing for the event. According to a user on Twitter, that goes by Ben Steinberg, there are hundreds of Tesla potentially running unsupervised version of full self-driving on the studio streets as we speak. From the images here that he has shared, we can see some Model Ys and Model 3s rolling around the studio entrance, although not exactly as Ben stated, there looks to be a driver controlling the car. In either case, however, we know for a fact that something magical is going to be happening at this event and there is going to be an unsupervised demo. There is no possibility that this robo taxi is going to be controlled by actual human being so this is something we are all looking towards and something that is going to be the most exciting thing to happen over the past 10 years. All of this is just too crazy and it's happening all within the next day. But I do have one last question for you guys. Do you think that this is going to be running the exact same version of full self-driving as what we have in the public cars right now? Or is it going to be running an unsupervised version, version one of the software, completely separate stack from what we have on the Tesla vehicles that we are driving today. Anyways, I will be keeping an eye out on everything that comes out, but the next video, you guys are probably going to be watching the stream just like I am right on the web, on YouTube, on X. There is already an official streaming link published on Tesla's official Twitter page, so go check that out and bookmark it. Prepare for such an exciting event at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I will see you guys there. This should be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you hit the subscribe button, that bell notification, and follow me on Twitter at HeyJohnE. Anyways, this should end it. This is John once again. Peace out.